today's review is not an action figure, but it is, boom, the bat cycle. What's happening Toy Snappers? Welcome back to my channel. My name is DJ, better known as Toy Snap Inc on Instagram. Today's review is not an action figure, but it is, boom, the Bat Cycle. And this is McFarlane's DC Multiverse second vehicle to be released as part of their new line of figures. So this is pretty cool. So up close, you can see it is modeled on like a skeleton of a bat on the frame of a bike. And for those of you who are not familiar, it came from issue one of Death Metal, which was the latest event in DC Comics, which saw all timelines, all heroes, all merged so they could fight Perpetua and the Batman who laughs. And this appeared in issue one briefly with Batman riding on it, and they went ahead and made it. So let's get it open and see how she looks. Okay, so my trusty knife. Let's flip it open. That. That. Is that it? Nope. Not it. This and this. Put that away so I don't stab myself. And the big reveal. Do do ah uh, more packaging. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new life. I don't play with nice kids. Okay, that was an absolute effort, but it's out of the box. So here she is up close. So you can see it's kind of like a bat-like skeleton thing over the bike. Funny enough, in the description, it says it is a Joker dragon. Following the universe shattering events of Dark Knight's Metal, the earth is enveloped by the dark multiverse and has transformed into a hellish landscape twisted beyond recognition. Commanding an army of the undead, Batman rides a bat cycle. Made from the bones of a Joker dragon in his war against a Batman who laughs and an omnipotent goddess, Perpetua. So basically what they're saying is, if you remember reading Dark Knight's Metal, and you remember the Joker dragons that were flying around, this is the skeleton of one of those things moulded onto a bike, which is pretty radical and metal. So yeah, it appeared literally in one issue and Todd just ran with that and produce it and I'm not getting angry because this thing is an absolute unit of a piece and it's so metal looking you can see up close proper bone detail you've got the bat symbols on the on the wheels got the protruding bones the whole way down got the rib cage along here which are all separate pieces okay but that's my word for it let's have a closer look up at it at the uh, review bench and let's get going okay so here he is up close on the bench here you can see the card with the art that was inspired which is from issue one of Death Metal. You can see the Batman who laughs in the background. Batman with his big gnarly scythe and his leather jacket riding the bat. And then for you, those of you who care, there is the back data file that I've already read. I'll pause it now and then boom, she's gone, just like that. Okay, so the bike itself, you can see it has a real nice bone detail ascent. I'm gonna just get it up closer so you can have a look. So you can really see the I don't know what the points are called, but where the, the bone would connect. Big gnarly teeth coming down over the wheel of the bike. I like the way they've simulated like its jaws holding onto the bike. You can see the spokes coming down, which are like little, even spiky little kind of spears. There's the bat symboling all over the spokes. And if you actually flip it around, you've got a bat symbol on this side of the bike. And then you can see as the eyes are big bulbous 3D printed pieces. They're really, really cool and detailed. The ears themselves are solid pieces and then the handlebars are in behind there and in behind you can see just the hinge that the whole head and front wheel of the bike is on so really cool and detailed very very gnarly and scary looking and then as you go down you can see there's a normal frame of the bike underneath and these little like protruding ribs are kind of loose at the top so there's a bit of play and movement and you can see underneath with a proper frame of the bike really nice touch with all the the spine and the vertebrae coming down over the gas tank of the bike and it goes right the way around and then the base of this bike is really flat and wide so it just sits there's no need for a stand 
which is pretty handy. And then you've got the exhaust coming down the side. Again, you can see all the internal workings of the normal bike. Three big, huge, pretty cool exhausts. Coloring is nice. And then the big fat wheel at the back, which has the bat wheels. And if I'm not mistaken, the bat wrapper had the exact same kind of style where it was the bat ears and nearly wings on the, on the wheel. And then again on the back, you can see there's more, more bones and spines formed into the bike itself. And even the seat has like leather detail. Really nice touch, really nice touch. So for Todd's second vehicle, he's got a lot better. The Bat Raptor was quite plain in comparison. I'm gonna get him up here now and have the two of them side by side, but I'm really loving the details on this. And I've already seen on Instagram, a lot of people have repainted the bone, and added some more flesh detail in just to give it a little nice touch. But as is out of the box, it's a really beautiful piece, I have to say. It's, uh, it's unique to say the least. Okay, so here is Batman Rebirth from DC Multiverse, uh, released a few waves ago. I obviously don't have the Batman death metal figure yet, he hasn't landed in Ireland, so this Batman will have to do as a little size comparison. He looks really well on the bike, I'm sure any any sort of DC figure will look good on the bike, but just for a size comparison, there is a Batman on the Batcycle. Okay, and just because it had to be done, here is the Batman who laughs on the Batcycle, it actually suits him really well. Look at him throwing his head up in the air laughing like it's no problem. So he suits it really well. And then for comparison size, here's a smaller 6 inch scale DC Universe Cla Mattel Classics. <laughs> Alfred on the bat <laughs> It suits him so well. Um, so yeah, there's an idea for a smaller scale figure on this quite large bike. Gotta say, Alfred's rocking it. Alfred's rocking it. They see me rolling. <laughs> they hate him. Okay, and here is the Bat Raptor from McFarland's first kind of wave, and it was the first vehicle he'd ever done. And here's the second one, comparison size. So, they're running around a bit the size, obviously, this one is a bit wider, but this one is he's, he's really gone all out on the details. I really like the aesthetic of this one, it looks gnarly. Uh, a lot of customization options available for it as well. So, gets the thumbs up from me, I like it. So, everyone, thanks for stopping by on my review of the McFarland Bat Cycle from issue one of dead metal. I uh, really like this bike. It's a cool concept. Some people might say it's a bit far-fetched and outlandish, but it's a bat skeleton motorcycle. Come on, it's class. So guys, if you can get them, get it. It's really cool. Nice addition for a motorbike and really any Batman figure looks pretty cool on it. So don't sleep on this one guys. And again, thanks for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz, even though I don't really care. But again, thank you guys. I'll see you again later.